Okay, let's go on to calculate the pH of weak acids. So uh, we're learning to derive this formula, H plus concentration is square root of Ka times the weak acid concentration, HA, and then use pH as minus log of the H plus concentration to work out the pH. And we'll use those to calculate the pH of 0.1 mol per decimeter cubed HCN, so that's a weak acid with Ka of 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10, and then a very similar uh, exercise, uh, 0.05 mol per decimeter cubed of phenol, another weak acid with Ka of 1.28 times 10 to the minus 10. So let's start with uh, this uh, derivation, uh, H plus concentration is square root of Ka times HA concentration. Now you might be wondering what Ka is. Well, if we have a weak acid, then we know that it uh, breaks apart slightly to form uh, H plus and A minus, or more strictly, it reacts with a water molecule to form H3O plus and A minus. And Ka uh, is a numerical value to state the extent to which this reaction occurs. And it's defined as the concentration of the products by the reactants, like any equilibrium constant. So the product here, we've got H3O plus, or H plus in its shorthand, and the A minus. They're multiplied together, divided by the concentration of the HA there. We leave out the water because its concentration changes negligibly. So, uh, let's carry on. In our pot of solution, we've mainly got these HA molecules, and every now and then one will have broken apart to form an A- and an H plus ion. So we can write out that equilibrium uh, that HA occasionally breaks apart to form H plus and A minus define the equilibrium constant, the extent to which that occurs, as concentration of the H plus times A minus divided by HA. But if we have a look at the relative amounts of H plus and A minus, we see that they are the same because an AH breaks apart into an A minus and an H plus. So therefore we can substitute back into this equation in the place of A minus, we can put in another H plus. So H plus times H plus is H plus squared. And now all we need to do is rearrange this for H+, plus and we will have our equation. So first of all, multiply both sides by HA, and then uh, turn around and take square root, gives our final answer H plus concentration of square root of Ka times HA concentration. Okay, there is one small assumption that we've made here, uh, and that involves the uh, amount or concentration of HA, because uh, if we were to use the original HA concentration, that wouldn't be quite right because some of that HA has broken apart into A- minus and H+. Plus. But if Ka is small, which it usually is, then the HA concentration will have dropped only very slightly, and therefore this approximation is valid. So we can use it. And uh, now we can use it to do a calculation. pH of this uh, weak base, where we have the concentration and we have the Ka value. So uh, in the place of the Ka, we can just put in the 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10. In the case of the HA concentration, we're going to put in that 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed. Multiply those two numbers together and take the square root, give 7 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per decimeter cubed. That's the concentration of H plus ions. Then to work out the pH, we're going to do minus log of that minus log of 7 times 10 to the minus 6 is 5.15, which seems a sensible answer because it's between 0 and 7. OK, and another really similar calculation here. 0 0.05 mole per decimeter cubed of phenol with Ka 1.28 times 10 to the minus 10. So we're going to use this formula to work out the H plus concentration, that is square root of Ka times HA, in this case square root of 1.28 times 10 to the minus 10, multiplied by the HA concentration 0.05 gives 2.53 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per decimeter cubed. And now we've got our H plus concentration, we can work out pH by doing minus log of it, and minus log of that 2.3 times 53 times 10 to the minus 6 is 5.6, once again a sensible answer for a pH of a weak acid. OK, so we have uh, derived this formula, and we need to be able to remember the assumption that uh, Ka is small and that HA concentration hasn't changed very much. And then we can use that to work out the H plus concentration, and then use uh, minus log to work out the pH. And that's 
method you use for working out the pH of weak acids. Okay, so uh, that's that part done, and next we'll be going on to bases.